Hello and welcome to Tash Life. I'm Tash and today uh, we're going to do a Shop My Stash. So let's get into it. Okay, so um, in here we have my Shop My Stash and my project pan and over here we have no pan left behind and this is my Indie Palettes pan palette. I do have the playlist link down below for those if you want to check them out see what's what that's all about first of all I'll take the project pan stuff out and we'll have a little chat about it Okay, I'll start with these things. We have the Emco Beauty Magic Brows in medium brown. I've been working on this for quite a while, but it's it's uh, sort of it's gone quite dry now. So this one's finished. I'm going to put that in my empties. Uh, I've also got this Glimmer Sticks Big and Daring. Uh, Avon in the shade Deep Brown. This one is done as well. So I'm going to put that in my empties. Uh, also, I just wanted to mention this one that I hauled about a month ago, uh, Emco Beauty Brow Fill and Set in the shade Light to Medium. This side of it, pencil side, it's finished. It's done. Uh, I still have this bit going. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here. But, uh, yeah, that one, uh, that pencil's done. So I will be putting this one in now, which I hauled <clears throat> just recently. Emco Beauty Extend Brows Shape and Sculpt. Pencil. It's just a pencil and a spoolie, also in light medium. So we'll see how that goes. And whoop, because my brown is worn out, I'm going to add these. So I'm pretty much what I'm doing is moving them from here to here because <laughs> I keep <clears throat> my project pan eyeliners and like a brown and black in there. So <clears throat> we've got the Avon. Glimmer Sticks Diamonds Eyeliner in Mod Gold. We're going to move that over. Pretty much just black. Oh, why? We're not focusing today. Yeah. And I have the Ultra 3 Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Coco. So this was in my new makeup area. And it's the only brown I think that I've got at the moment. So I'm I'm just gonna put them in this part here where I use all the time. For primer, we had the Ultra 3 Perfect Balance Primer, uh, which you can see I enjoy. I did use this quite a lot, but we're gonna put that one back, try something else. For Foundation, I had the Ultra 3 Second Skin Foundation in the shade Beige. I do really like this and I used it quite a lot because my Project Pan uh, foundations were too fair for me now. So uh, this was the only one I had <laughs> to use. For concealer, we had the OXX Cosmetics Concealer with Vitamin E in the shade Banana. Banana. So I was using this too because my clearance, um, my project pan uh, concealer was too fair for me as well. So put that one back. The setting spray I had was the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. It's about down to here, I feel. So I'll put that one back. Uh, for powder, we had the She Glam. 
Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo in the shade Taro. This is their new purple one. Oops. So that's the pressed powder for under the eyes. And then there is a loose powder in there. So I'll do a little swatch. Why not? I swatch everything else, don't I? So it's fine. It's to be quite honest on me, it's not a great deal different to the pink. But I'll put that back because I do have some new other powders that I haven't tried yet. <clears throat> we have the Barry M Lid Lock Eyeshadow Primer and Glitter Fixer Gel. Uh, we'll put these ones back because I have been, because I've been unwell and we've had school holidays and all sorts of things like that. It's actually been like three weeks since I did a shop my stash probably, <laughs> uh, maybe even a month actually. So everything, just about everything's going to go back. I've, I've I'm ready for all new fresh stuff. <laughs> right now, onto the coloured products for bronzer. We had the OXX Cosmetics Matte Bronzer in Vintage Pink. This is nice. It's very pretty bronzer. It's got sort of a pinky redness to it. But yeah, it is nice and i'm ready for a change just there uh for blush we have the she glam she glam cheeky color jam in carnation dreams this is a very nice velvety uh sort of cushiony um formula and i really like it i did wear this one once uh, at least once. That's there. Nice light. Um, oh, just pink, pinky blush. Uh, let's see. She Glam. Um, lightweight matte blush in Seduction. So this is sort of an ombre, ombre blush, and I just do that. And if it doesn't show up enough, I go a bit more into the deeper side. But it's quite a nice neutral bronzy blush. Yeah. We have the flower, uh, flower pots powder blush in warm hibiscus. I did wear this a few times. I probably topped it on top of a cream blush as well. It's a nice sort of Pinky, peachy, goldy, glowy. Yeah. And <clears throat> we had the Kind Collective uh, Cloud Skin Blush Powder in Sunset Vibes. This is new to me and I do really like it. Uh, this side is virtually a highlighter, then you have a glowy blush and then a matte blush. So, let's see. Nice. Is that better? So that's the glowy part and that's the matte part. And the highlighter side, just there. I'm sorry my lighting is not very good today. It's quite a gloomy day. Um, and I had the Gel Crush Flower Lip and Cheek in the shade Blackberry Crush. I did wear this on a no makeup makeup day. Where am I going to put it here? So sort of quite balmy.
nice. And it smells like blackberries. <laughs> and for uh, highlighter, we had the highlighter that was in the blush there. And we had the OXX Cosmetics Powder Highlighter in Shine Bright. Which, I don't know if you can see, it's sort of, it's got pink shimmer in it. Now I don't think it's showing up. Uh, and then we had the Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. Um, Day Glow is the shade. <clears throat> and I did wear this on my No Makeup Makeup Day. It's like a balmy formula as well. I'm going to put it here. Sort of just got that nice balmy glow. Um, and then we had the She Glam Metallic Glow Highlighter in Stay Sane. I didn't wear this, so I'm going to leave it in because Halloween is just around the corner and that is generally when I tend to wear this, but I'll give it a swatch. It's quite glittery, so it's not your everyday sort of highlighter. But I will keep that one in. <clears throat> okay, now for single eyeshadow, uh, we had the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Frog. And I did two looks with these, and I both times I used this one on the inner corner. And I think I might have used it tapped over the center of one of them. Um, maybe the one with this. I can't remember which one. Uh, so I did two looks and I used the some of the powders out of my uh, Indie Color Pans palette, which is the BH Illusion palette, to uh, tie the look together. So this one is the shade Whittle. Oh, I haven't swatched, have I? This is the shade Whittle, and we did one look with this. And this is the shade Frog, which I used on the inner corner, and I tapped over the top of one of the uh, one of them. Sort of a nice pinky, glittery one. And this one is in the shade Drift, which is a satin. So this frog is a ultra glitter and whittle is an ultra glitter. Mm. So you can see it's got an orangeness to it as well. And this has a blackness to it, this purple. But yeah, they were lovely. And I would have shown <clears throat> the looks on the screen by now. So they can go back. Okay, lips. Okay, so for lips, my plumping gloss that I had was the W7 Hot Shots Plumping Oil. This is quite spicy, but I like it. And it is, I'm getting quite low on it too. It's coming down. Like I said, this shot, my stash went for about a month. So, you know, I got my use out of it. Uh, the W7 Velvet Luxe in the shade Earthquake, which is broken. Remember? It's nice, pinky. Color, pinky mauvey color. Uh, this one, all the stuff's rubbed off, but it's a sports girl glitter lipstick in the shade Luna. Which 
which I wish you could still get these, but you can't. Uh, we have the W7 Lippy Chic Ultra Cream Lipstick in Shout Out. They're all very similar, aren't they? That one. The Colour by TVN, Oh My Melon. <laughs> and I did use a different lip liner than I normally do. This is the Avon Glimmer Sticks uh, lip liner in Mystery Mauve. I did wear this a couple of times. It just seemed to suit the looks better <laughs> than my project pan one so that's it for the lips so uh we'll go and spray the powders okay so in this one we've got primers eye primers and glitter glues concealer powder uh some powders here and this is foundations. <clears throat> so for uh, it's, uh, for primer, I've got this. This is new to me. It's the Emco Beauty Grip Makeup Primer. So we'll give that one a go. I've never used any of these dupey white dupes of this before, so I have no idea what to make of it. But put that one in. <clears throat> for concealer, shall we do? I think we'll put this one in the BYS Concealer Duo in the shade Natural Beige. So uh, this side has a stick on it. And this side is a doe foot. So put that one in. And for foundation, so I think I'll put in this. Uh, is this what I want? Yeah, I'll put in this, the OXX Cosmetics Hydrating Foundation in the shade. Okay, I'm not sure what the shade is because it's too tiny, but we'll put that one in. Pick for that drawer, oh, powder. I've got this one, which is new to me, the Emco Beauty Cool Loose, Loose Powder Cool and Set in Rose Pink. So I uh, haven't tried this one yet. So I'll put that one in. Hmm. Yes. Oh, there we go. Got like a mesh. Put that one in. And I think that's it for that drawer. No, it's not. We need some of this. We're over the place today, aren't we? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put in the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer in the shade translucent and the BYX glitter fixer primer so I'll put those in and I think that's it for that drawer <clears throat> okay so uh, for this drawer we've got bronzer blush and highlighter so I'll pick a bronzer. 
I've got this one, which is new to me. Uh, the Revlon Cans Tan, Cans Tan <laughs> Powder Bronzer. So that that's a new one for me. This is the darker shade. Let's actually see glitter in it. And this, this is the shade that I already had, which is called Havana Gleam. This is a bit light for me in summer. It just doesn't show up. Little bit of glitter in there as well so as you can see this one is a little bit darker so i'm going to give that a go and as you can see i did love this one but i uh, really need to yeah it just doesn't show up in summertime so okay, this one looks like it might be glowier actually to me i think it's glowier so uh we'll put that one in <coughs> And I think I might put this one in as well. The OXX Cosmetics Sparkling Rose Bronzer Wand in the shade. Hmm. There's no shade. But. Yeah. No shade. So it's the darker one of them. Uh, yeah annoying that's got no shade on it but anyway putting that one in <clears throat> it's one of these little goofy things uh for blush i think i might have one of these as well these. i noticed that they have um some new shades in these out um at the moment uh, coming out or out. Uh, I'm not sure if they're glow or I think they might be just the matte ones. But mm, I might put the glow one in, uh, which is in the shade Coral. Um, so we'll put that one in. I feel like I haven't used this in a while. The Ultra 3 Blush Sculpt Stick. This was in my project pan for a while. So we're going to put that in. Uh, I feel like I haven't used this one in a while. The Flower, Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Primrose. So that's the peachy one. It's a matte blush, so I'll put that one in. Oh, one of these. I don't have to use one of these. Look at that. You can see how low they're getting, some of them. What's this? Swipe right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this one in. This is the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush in Swipe Right. Maybe I should try panning this one because it's obviously not much left. It's sort of a mauve deep mauve color. Uh, One more blush. What do we have? Let's do this one. So this is the W7 Duo Blusher. Uh, this is the number, oh, the shade is 04. Uh, and they look both a little bit glowy. Yeah, we'll put that in. <clears throat> That's it for blush, I think that'll do. And for highlighter, we still have that purple one. And I might put this one in the She Glam Corpse Bride Beaming Butterfly Highlighter. Take that out of the box. Just leave that in there.
perfect for Halloween. So I'll put that one in. And shall I just get a neutrally one? Uh, uh, I think I will put this one in. The RxX Cosmetics Sparkling Rose Highlighter, um, which is, it's not as uh, icy as what it looks, but it's actually really nice. So I'm going to put that one in. And that gives me three highlighters. So that is enough of those. And I think that's it for this drawer. Okay, so uh, for the setting spray, I picked the Emco Beauty Miracle Flawless Setting Spray. This is new to me, so I'll put that in and give it a go. And the plumping gloss will be the Fit Colors, um, this little white sparkly one, which nothing special, it's just a bit. Cute. And for single eyeshadows, um, single eyeshadow box, <clears throat> what should we have? I was thinking maybe out of the bottom drawer this time. So that's the society. There we go. Uh, these are chameleon eyeshadow. Yes, they're all chameleon eyeshadows. I bought these from Shein. They just have numbers. This is number 11, sort of one of those green, red shades. This one is number six, which is sort of a blue, purple. And this one is number two, which is pink with blue shimmer. So we'll put those in for the single eyeshadow this time around. <coughs> Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm certainly looking forward to having some new products to play with. Uh, it's not very often that I go for months before I change them out, but uh, yeah, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.